Welcome to PQs for Breakthroughs, where I ask you powerful questions, PQs, to get the answers you need to everyday challenges. So I'm just curious, is your to-do list too long? Do you sometimes feel like you'll never get it all checked off? Does it stress you out when you look at it and you see it seems to just get longer and longer? Well, I've got the anecdote to the to-do list and I call it the not to-do list. <laughs> look at your to-do list and actually identify the things on your list that are not necessary, that are not meaningful. Things that you could just delete from the list, things that you could delegate on your list, and things that you just don't have to have on your list. You know, so often we spend our time, especially our bandwidth, you know, that feeling of all the different types of things we have to do, we spend it on things that aren't necessarily meaningful or useful. They're just there. And so we allow the list to expand. We allow things to be added. Sometimes it's things that other people have been adding to our list. Sometimes it's things we've been doing so long that it doesn't actually occur to us that maybe we don't need to do it anymore. So here's my PQ for you today. What is on your to-do list that isn't meaningful or necessary? meaningful or necessary. I use those words very intentionally because there, there are things that sometimes are meaningful to you, they matter to you, they create memories for you, they help you to really express your values and what's important to you, but they might not be necessary. And sometimes there are things that are necessary, you just have to do them. You may not label them meaningful, but you know what, the bills need to be paid. You know, there are just certain things that have to be done so you do them. So ask yourself, what's on the list that isn't meaningful or necessary? And you may just find that there are things you can delete, things you could delegate, and things you could put off until later because they just don't have to happen right now. So let me give you a great example of the unnecessary but meaningful. These are things you might decide, hey, I'm gonna keep them on my list, okay? They're meaningful, not necessarily necessary. Maybe there's something you enjoy doing with your kids, perhaps in the evenings. For example, we read to our son every night before he goes to bed. We've made a habit of reading books together as a family with all three of our children. Now, that's not necessary, but as a family to us, it's meaningful. In fact, I think we've gone through every Roll Doll book over the past five years, and we actually talk about them, and we're actually going through them now again. Again, it's not necessary, but for us, it's meaningful. It creates memories, it creates a bond, and that short 15 minutes a night is worth it. So we keep that on our list. So there are things sometimes that simply don't hold meaning for you. They aren't necessary. Put those on your not to-do list and you'll start to free up some time. Remember, you get powerful answers when you ask powerful questions. If you want more PQs or you want info about our personal coach training programs, go to ValerieBurton.com. If you want to get more of these videos, just go to ValB.tv. I'll talk to you soon.